we are taking a look at PHP PP SiteMaker content made by Eplitza. It's uh, an extension for PHP PP, and this is how. And this is. This is the method of setting it up for testing. Uh, it's still in the trial phase, and required some other files to uh, go along with it. I would recommend creating a new PHP PP. Um, folder to test this on um, from cPanel you could basically install PHPP easily by going into the web application section uh, view more PHPP and put it in a folder user put a password and then install We'll try to do everything from cPanel. It's easier, also it's faster. Okay. Now I'm opening the login panel and then user. Save and we go to the administrator panel. Login again. Save. Okay, so first thing is to install PHP PP SiteMaker. Click on the link. Mm -hmm. Okay, click on the link again. Right, then maybe if I stop it and click on it again, it will boost. Okay. So download the file, and then we'll install the file. Let me go back to the topic, because I'm going to be installing the uh, other extension. So I'll go back to cPanel, File Manager, Public, PHP, PP, Extension Folder, Upload, Select File, Close that. Reload, extract. What is the extract button? Okay. Okay, close this and then delete. There's a file I uploaded. Go into customize. Uh, should be here. Yep, site manager and then enable it. So the first requirement is done. We have installed the PHPP site maker. Now we will go and download the uh, SiteMaker content. Click clone or download, download the zip file and save. Okay, extensions that you download from PHP PP are already uh, made into its appropriate folder. Uh, for extensions in development, you sometimes need to change the name of the uh, extension folder to match the actual uh, folder. So what we will do is extract the file. Let me put it over here. So that's the file I downloaded. I extract it, and then we'll go to README, and then we'll find out the location that we need to put the file in or the extension in. So it has to go into the extension folder, Blitzy, and then content. So step number one to rename the folder to content. Copy, close that. Okay, so rename content. And then I think I could just create an archive here, add to archive. Okay. Okay. Now I have it here, the folder is here. And then I go to my file manager. Let's see. Upload, select, and this is the one I just made. Okay, so now we go back, we refresh, extract, and that's that. So we have content and site maker inside of Plitzy. Now we delete this, and we go back to uh, 
customize and install the or enable the site maker content we are done with that so we go to extensions now and you'll see the content type for the site maker the menu and the settings and the settings you have the file manager setting so if you enable it they'll ask you to you will need to install the file manager before you can enable it installation instruction are found here okay so we will need uh, what do we need download the file extract it to the root folder so let's download the file okay I'll go to download and then save it here where is my files okay so responsive file manager and then let me go back to 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 okay extract it uploaded file to your root directory so the php root directory will upload a folder that is called responsive file manager let me copy that and it will have all the files in let me just double check okay this is a problem because if we upload this zip file now to cpanel and extract it it will go um, all over the php directory so what I need to do is uh, contain them inside a folder. So make, uh, let me extract this first. Extract. And then, my bad. Okay, let me delete the ones I already, I'm done with. So I delete. Okay. So these are supposed to go into the folder called responsive file manager copy that and then make a new folder control a then move everything inside it cool now i extract it i mean i'm sorry i compress it uh in here it's inside a folder that's good and now copy this link here copy go to my C panel go to my PHP root directory also don't confuse this with the other PHP PP folder they exactly are named the same but you need to go to the root directory of PHP PP now we go to upload select and paste the link upload that just make sure you're uploading the file that contains the folder. You don't want the files to be all over the place. And then that's it. You go over here. You reload. Mm, and responsive file manager. Extract. And hopefully everything goes as planned. Yep, file is here. We need to delete this since we won't be using it anymore. And then we go to the... Uh, settings enable yeah the options are now here just click on submit and you're done now for content type you would need to create a content add the new content type and in contrary to the standard php tabs you could move from one tab to another without losing anything in fact you would need to fill out the content type go to the field add a field and then submit all without changing pages so let's put a blog blog just a blog uh, show content permission we'll just set a new permission for it blog type and then we go over here you look to add and it's going to be text blog blog add okay uh, this field is required yes the location of the field is in the body the title will be given to you so you don't have to assign a title field it's already there um, type uh, this will be the link 
on the uh, so it's I think it will be something like um, let me show you mm, okay I think I'm getting there okay so you'll have a link that says app.php and then content and then whatever content you have so for in this case and let me go back to the we have blog blog the permission we didn't copy the fields we already did uh, custom template it's something more advanced if you want to go into that so we'll click on submit and then for permission PHP does uh, PHP PP is pretty good in doing a default permission so you could select uh, group select all group edit permission okay I don't have groups okay okay what happened here okay so we'll go to uh, let's go one more time edit permission select groups we I don't have user groups why don't I have groups manage groups okay they're here so let me go back to extensions go to plug hmm interesting so if I go and click on edit form permission I don't have uh, okay let me add these groups first uh, permission for these groups so administrator give it okay so what I'll do is something easier let me just go back click on setting uh, and then copy the uh, your first form permission and submit so it does it automatically I don't have to do it all over again uh, now if you want to add a post you just go over here and then you test and then test test preview and that's how it looks like uh, to display the page you would uh, need to do to do what this thing over here copy <clears throat> so in my case I'll copy this delete article and uh, put blog instead so PLOG enter and that is the page I could create a menu for that so I could go to content menu add a menu add an item blog put the URL in save now it's here I go to settings and I choose the menu I just made over here submit now when I go back I should have this over here and when I click the content is empty so yes um, experiment with the extension see uh, what bugs are there and you could report them and post them back on the uh, topic we discussed about I hope this was useful in getting you set up with this great extension thanks